Hello everybody! Welcome to another video with Buko. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys my artifact route. So if you don't know what an artifact route is, there's like little things that you can investigate and you get artifacts from them. They're usually like one to two star artifacts. So this is the first one. Um, you just follow him in a circle. You need Electro for it. You don't really need to grab these ones. What do you call them? The Tanuki? You don't really actually need them, but I like to grab them. Um, I'm using the standard free four stars so that you can and get a feel. So you need to open up this area, this whole boat area right here. Um, and I'm gonna go through each one. <laughs> You're just gonna have to memorize. Okay, so that's not an artifact. Um, I think I just messed up the whole video now. That's so great, not that. So it's just these two over here. These two, not that one. You got these. Um, this is including some weapon investigations. You don't have to include these, but I like to grab them. I'll go over a couple where um, I'm gonna try and have a counter down there to show how many weapon investigations I did. It's not that many. I know I counted it before. Um, but I'll go over some areas that I don't go through in my route, but I know that there's artifacts there, so if you don't want to get the weapons, it's all good. I'm going to be ignoring <laughs> any mobs I will be ignoring. Okay, so you get those two down there, two up here, and then a third one hiding right here. That's it. Okay. Then I want to just go over here real quick. This is another one with a tanuki. And this one requires pyro. So again, if you don't have electro or pyro, you don't have to grab the tanuki. But I think the way it works is if you go to a certain region and you do grab a lot of artifacts from that region, it's going to count that because there's actually an investigation cap, unfortunately. And that's why this is a video I wanted to make so that people knew my route and they don't go pressing extra stuff. So this actually, that Tanuki, it totally glitched, but it usually goes around here. Down here, you can usually ignore these people just by hugging the wall. It goes down there and it goes up here. I like when it glitches though, because it makes my life a lot faster. <laughs> makes it run a lot faster. So, yeah. Okay. Get ready for the of and then we go down here. There are Fatui. Again, I'm going to be ignoring them. You can find them if you want. <laughs> I am not doing that today, but it is what it is. Uh, it looks like there's only one, but there's more that up here. Okay, thank you, bye. That's why I like Noel doing this, or literally any shielder, because then I can just like not worry about running fast enough. Um, and if you have any characters that have really good mobility, that's even better, because look at how much stamina you lose during this. At least that's how much I lose because I suck at stamina. Um, got the word. It is what it is. Uh, so there's that one. There's these carrots here. Those don't affect your investigations. Don't grab that. Grab this. This is a weapon, I believe. Yeah. I'm such a nerd for remembering all this, but you know, it is what it is. Grab 
these three don't grab that second one over there, just the first one. We have to open this place up as well. So you're gonna have to do some exploration. I don't feel like you should worry about artifacts as much anyways if you're still in Mondstadt and in Leeway. So yeah, I wouldn't really sweat it, but if you are like me and you go through artifacts really fast, you know, just... Oh man, that's too high. Uh, but yeah, I like this one. Sometimes I only do this one and another one every day, because because of those um, crystal flies which you need for condensed resin. So that's done with that island. So for Inazuma, most of it is in Inazuma. This one, probably your friend. These three. These two, and that's usually the Inazuma artifact run. I'll show you. I'll be going through it, but yeah. If you want to mark it on your maps right away. As long as you can get in, it's doable. So you want this one first. And then you can get your own Kabuto over here. And, and this refreshes every single day. So. You know, doing this isn't so bad. When you're done with the artifact run, yeah, you have to stand right here, by the way. These <laughs> two crystal flies. That's what I usually do. So I, I usually do this one, where I get the two crystal flies at least, and then I stand over there and get the crystal flies there too. Um, yeah, these refresh every single day. Um, so it's nice. It's nice if you don't have a lot of artifacts or any artifacts to feed your artifacts right now so yeah so you do these three over here you can fight them or if you want but I usually just ignore them you want this one and then you want this one and then you run like a little wuss if you're like me. Alright, walk over here. I'm gonna shield up just so I don't get hurt because I'm annoying like that. And get those two. Uh, it all adds up, so I think it's worth it. That, that's the annoying thing, is if you mess up once, if you investigate once, your whole artifact run is ruined. Um, not the whole thing, but you just, you might miss out on a couple artifacts for the day, which sucks. So you follow this to new key. Uh, you want to grab these two. Well, one of them's a weapon if you don't want. Then you break this. Yep. You can grab these, they're not going to mess up the ride. Any sort of carrots, as long as you don't have to investigate, it should be fine. So just these three. You can fight him if you want, I'm not going to. Then we go across. Then we go over to this ship over here and only to the left. I only want the left one. Oh, if I can climb. And then we grab this left one. And then you want these two. Now we go over here. Uh, you look behind you, so you are gonna have to open this area up. You don't really actually have to open this part. You don't actually have to even be in this area, but it's just a nice teleport to have. Um, yeah, you actually don't need it at all. 
But it's nice. Should definitely do it. Um, so we're gonna follow this Tanuki. It's a little bit of a backtrack, but again, I like any artifacts that I can get. <laughs> the, the, it's the way I've memorized everything. Okay, and it appears there. You can grab this and you can turn it on. I think if I leave it alone, I might be able to get the other artifacts in other areas. So maybe I will just leave it alone. Um, one thing about Sang Sangnomia, is this what that's called? Watatsumi Island. <laughs> the thing about this island is there's a lot of um, fish statues that will also give you artifacts, but I would not recommend going to all of them unless you're only getting artifacts and you're ignoring the weapons. That's what I want to say. So everything in that cave that we were just in, or not cave, but whatever that underside was, those are all artifacts, so you can just grab it all. Get this one here. Got that. You can grab all your sunny loaches if you need them. I have so many loach pearls. Don't even know what to use them on. Um, and here's one of those fish statues that I was talking about. You get an artifact. Um, I do include that in the end. Okay, and that is all for Inazuma. So that's usually where I start. Um, this is where my next one is usually. So this is Sumeru. It's right around here. Okay. Then we go down here. You're going to have to fight them if you haven't already. Because you want to get inside. So the first one is we get right here. This is why I bring the wall because I don't want to fight because I am lazy. Okay. So we grab this one around here. Don't grab that one or anything else. We grab this. Someone needs assistance. Leave it all to me. So there's one sword there. There's that one there. That door closes, so you don't have to worry about them, but you have to worry about these two. You only want the left one here. <laughs> you can grab these if you want. These give weapons, so if you don't want weapons, then ignore these two, but yeah. Now we can move over here. Um, I usually go here first, but I'll just show you this one first. So now we're in Leeway. So there's only one place in this area. So from here, I like to grab these two. Um, if you do it from this rock, they fly away. So I would suggest to do it from the statue, if you can. And then there's this one. Just a nice little quick farm, especially if you do it every day. It's like it's gonna add up. This is another thing is usually during this part of the route there's some sort of friendship thing going on. Not all the time, but sometimes. I see. Leave it all to me. Thank you. And so, if you can do that every day, you can get some friendship XP pretty quickly. Then we want to go into this shed over here. Bop. And then you have a little lizard guy. So that's like five inside of here. You can probably try and get these two. I was too slow. <clears throat> I usually don't. 
They like to fly away pretty quickly. There's this one singular <laughs> crystal chunk that's up with level two. Just like that. We want that, this, and this one. And fight one whopper tower there. And grab those. <clears throat> If you don't care enough to walk this far for one more artifact, that's fair. So you do that, and this is the last area for the, the specific one that I do. Um, again, I don't know if there's better places, but the criteria is it fits within the run, it doesn't cap me, and it respawns every single day. So some areas you'll grab the artifacts there and they don't respawn the next day, so that sucks. Okay, and there's these four over here. Um, usually I could add the Tanuki in, but I messed up, so yeah. And then we'll be going over and showing you extra areas. So first extra area would be here by Lua Pool. And right here, there's like three that I, I've capped, so I can't get more. Then you can go over here. And if you go north, you can look on the mini map. And you go over here with the treasure hoarders. There's three around here. Um, I think one of them's a weapon. Maybe not, I know you can try it, but I don't like to go down there. It's only three, so I usually try to go for four or more. Oh, there's, okay, there's this one. So I'll go through it. This one also only gives three, so that's why it's not included in the run. Because I don't want to cap from only grabbing three. So there's one here. You can hit these bamboo things for your teapot. Um, go through here, where I, that thing right there, <laughs> this wagon, and then we go over here, and there would be another one right here. If you go here, you can find some more fish statues, I believe. So there's one across here, I think. I'll catch up. Yeah, right there. I believe that one usually has one. If you go here, oops, I'll just use the statue. Someone needs assistance. There's like two fish statues somewhere down here. Um, so if you care enough. Alright, there's one here and then um You can look for it. <laughs> Again, I don't care enough about grabbing the weapons, but if you do, I think that should be enough to show you anyways, but I know there's one around here. Last area I will show you is on this island. There's like two artifacts that you can grab over here. I must leave no stone unturned. Right here. Again, it's like two. Right, so that's why those aren't included, because if I included them, I would cap faster. And I don't want to cap faster. Which sucks. So yeah, and that is the end of the artifact card. Um, before I end the video, I want to show you just how much it can level up. So I'm almost done with building Yelan. Actually, I need one more. I'm not going to talk about my set that I have on here. She's fine, okay? Oh, 
Well, I guess sometimes it'll do that. And you can essentially get it all the way to 20. That's not really what I wanted to happen. Um, I like to do half when I get this close. For that reason. And we get crit damage. Let's go. I don't know who else in my building. Layla. Where is she? Um, but yeah, everyone past this is of level 80. We're not gonna talk about it just yet. Uh, let me like, get my Dory actually. So yeah, um, I would say that artifact run usually gets me like if I had a absolutely new artifact at level zero, I could probably get it to level eight or twelve, honestly. <clears throat> From just the artifact run. Let's level this one up. Let's see if it gets to twelve. <clears throat> I I'm only doing the, the two star because I don't this prioritizes one star up. So that's why I was clicking first. Otherwise I would have just been auto-adding this whole time. But I like to measure, I like to not go over the level I need. I don't know if it'll make it look 12 anymore, but you will see. Oh, I didn't. We got very close. <laughs> you can do that every single day. So you can like build people a lot faster. I, I will say, it's not, you know, you can't get a, an artifact from 0 to 20 in one day. No. But you can get from level 18 to 20. You can get... It's more like an artifact or two a week. If you were only doing that artifact run and not any other artifact farming from actual domains um so yeah and that won't affect the run either so yeah that's it and that's the artifact run i hope that helps um yeah i don't know it responds every day i think if it doesn't respond it, it doesn't refresh at reset it resets every like 20 hours or something like that so you could even um, you can even go to the other artifacts and grab those halfway through your day, but I wouldn't do that just because I don't know if that's going to affect your artifact cap, so yeah. That's it. Alright, well, hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it helped, and bye!